This tutorial explains how to use Headnotes in Westlaw Next to find other cases that discuss the same point of law. First off, what are Headnotes? Well, cases are printed in West's National Reporter System reporters. For each case, a West editor identifies the points of law and writes a one-paragraph summary of each. Those summaries are called Headnotes, and they are published before the text of every case. Keep in mind, these headnotes are written by West's editors, not the courts, and they are not citable. The West editor then assigns each headnote to at least one key number in the West's topic and key number system. Other cases that discuss the same point of law are assigned the same key number, so you can use the key number to find multiple cases that discuss that point of law. So how do we use headnotes in Westlaw next? Going back to the example we used in some of the other tutorials, we're going to start with a case, Golden Gateway Center versus Golden Gateway Tenants Association. Remember, it's a First Amendment case from 2001 about the right of a tenants association to leave leaflets in an apartment building. Now we've read the case and we're particularly interested in the state action issue. Specifically, what actions of the private property owner amount to state action for purposes of the Free Speech Clause of the California Constitution. We want to find more cases about that topic. So the first thing we're going to do is pull up the case by typing the citation 26 Cal 4th 1013 in the search bar at the top, choosing California as our jurisdiction, and clicking search. So you'll notice that the version of the case that comes up is the official reports version. And if we scroll down, we see the headnotes from the California Digest of Official Reports. Now these are no longer updated, so we want to switch to the version with West's headnotes from the National Reporter System. So we go back to the top and click on the link View National Reporter System Version. And here it is. And if we scroll down, we see West's headnotes, six in total. Now we're going to read through the headnotes until we find the headnote or headnotes, there may be more than one, that describes the issue that interests us. In this case, it's headnote three. If we click on the three, it will take us to the section of the case where this issue is discussed. So how do we find other cases that discuss this issue, the state action issue? We have two options. If we want to view the cases that cite Golden Gateway Center, and that discuss this issue, we can just click on the link below the headnote, which indicates that 23 of the cases that cite Golden Gateway Center discuss this state action issue. But what if we don't want to limit ourselves to just those cases that cite Golden Gateway Center? There may be other cases that discuss the state action issue that don't cite Golden Gateway Center. To find those cases, we're going to use the key number. We just click on the link next to the key, and that takes us to all the headnotes assigned to this topic. So here is the topic we're viewing. This shows us how this topic is organized. So we're looking at private property, which is under property and events, under freedom of speech, expression, and press, and all of that is under constitutional law. Now the first thing we want to do is limit our jurisdiction to California. And we do that using this link at the top. So now there are 129 headnotes that fall under this private property grouping. The headnotes are organized in reverse chronological order. Now this topic, private property, is narrowed down further into four key numbers, 1780 through 1784. If we don't want to see the headnotes under all four key numbers, we can click on select next to the key number on the left, then expand the link by clicking on constitutional law, then freedom of speech, then property and events, then private property. And here we see those four key numbers, in general, landlord and tenant, stores, shopping centers or malls, and smoking regulations. So let's say we're only interested in the in general category and the stores, shopping centers, and malls category. We just click add and then click continue. Then we click apply filters. 
and that reduces our results to 118. If this still seems overwhelming, we can search for terms within our results using the search bar on the left. This searches the full text of the case, not just the headnote. Going back to our original case, Golden Gateway Centers, we can also click on the key icon to see where this headnote is located in the key number system hierarchy. So we see the broad topic constitutional law, then freedom of speech, expression, and press, then property and events, then private property, and then the specific key number, 1780, which was that in general category. If we wanted to broaden our search, we could click on any of these topics. So for example, if I click on property and events, I retrieve 332 headnotes, including the ones related to private property. So that's your introduction to headnotes. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always ask a reference librarian 